Hello everyone. In this session, I would like to discuss about the JSON object in JavaScript. So when you go for JSON object, it's like a one data type. Okay, the type is like a JSON object. When you go for, for example, number type is there, string is there, boolean is there, array is there, JSON object, object is there, like this different, different types are there. When you go for JSON object means if you want to represent some data about one particle, Okay, that particle may be one player or maybe one student, maybe one hero, whatever it is. If you want to represent some data about that player in the form of this key value pair, then you can go with the JSON. Now let's start with just create one JSON object. Now let me open our developer window, just inspect it. This is my console. I already told you I'm using console to write your JavaScript code. Just create one JSON object. Bad. My obj equals to how you can create means like this. You can create which is my object. Now here there is no data, nothing is there. Now my requirement is let me open this notepad. First one is like I want to insert some data. The next one is like I want to update the data. All DML operations I want to perform, and then I want to delete the data, and then I want to retrieve the data from this particular object. These DML operations I want to perform. So how we can insert the data? Just this object I want to represent for one player. I want to insert the player data. So how we can insert the player data means, first I want to insert Sachin. His name is like Sachin, his runs is like 20,000, his centuries is like 100, like this, the data I want to insert. So how we can insert the data inside the JSON object means by using two ways we can. We can insert the data in two ways. One is like using dot notation, another one is like square bracket notation. How we can use by using how we can insert by using dot notation means see inside object i want to insert the data by using dot notation which data you want me to insert okay such in okay that such in is like a name Twenty thousand is like a runs in the form of key value pairs only we can insert the data my key is like a name and my value is like a such in so this is my object yeah my object contains one property name such in or not now i want to insert one more property this is my object i want to insert runs equals to 20,000, yes. By using dot notation, like this, you can insert the data. The another way also there, using square bracket notation. When you go with the square bracket notation means, my obj dot, full name is there, full name. Just like searching, remains still recurrent, sorry. See, it gives me an error. Inside the key, if you find any spaces, then the time my dot notation will never work. Will never work. Then you should have to go with the square bracket notation. So how you can name obj of you can write your full name. Okay. Now you can write like such in the next you can see this full space name. Here, full space name, it throws an error if I'm using dot notation. If it is like a square bracket notation, there is no error, nothing. See this my object. My object contains what? Name, searching, runs, and full name. Now, I have the data inside my object. This data in which format, key value pair, key value pair, key value pair format or not. This key value pair, we can say like a property. Okay, this is one property. This is one property. Overall, how many properties are there? Three properties are there. Inside the property, key and value, we can differentiate with what? Colon. Inside the property key value, we can differentiate with column. One property to another property, we can differentiate by using comma or not, comma. Okay, now I want to insert one more property, obj of 100, 100 is like 200. Now, there is no space, nothing is there. Still it is working or not, that means, my dot notation is going to work for only the keys which is not having any space. But my square bracket notation is going to work for the keys which is having the space, the keys which is not having the space. For both, it's going to work. Then, this is the way we are going to insert the data. The next one is like update the data. How we can update the data? For example, thing name such in runs 20,000, full name is okay, but my 100, not 200, it's like 100. It's like wrong entry. I want to update with 100. So how we can means in which way you insert this particular property, the same way my insert and update syntactically, there is no change. 
but how it is working you should know how you insert the data if it is no keys there is no space nothing like this you can insert it or not now while inserting it's going to check this key is there or not in the obj hq and key is there or not yes there if it is there then that time the previous data is going to update it with this data now see already my 100 is there then the time my operation is like what update operation it's updated or not now srd i want the full full name such in ramesh tendulkar like that so that how we can insert for the how you insert the data full name data obviously the full name if you put like such in ramesh tendulkar like this it gives me an error why because if the key is having any space my dot notation never work then you should have to go with what square bracket notation or not you should have to go with the square bracket notation now again it is going to change inside my obj full name property key there or not yes full name property key is there if it is there my previous value override by new value updated with new value now see my obj obj now see my full name updated like such in the mr my 100 hundreds like what 200 update with 100 or not so my insert my update both of them the next one delete the data okay i want to delete this runs i don't want this property i want to delete if you want to delete delete is the keyword from which property that means from which object you want to delete which property you want me to delete just put that one now see deleted or not i want to delete full name how we can delete obj dot full name will never work why because wherever you are using key if the key is having the space you should have to go with you should have to go with square bracket notation only like this now see my obj it's deleted or not this is the way you can delete a property from this particular object delete is the keyword which is given by the javascript the next one is like retrieve retrieve the data now how many properties are there two properties are there i want this such in such in so how we can name obj dot name see retrieve the data such in data or not obj dot 100 obj of 100 both it's going to work my square bracket notation is going to work for both either the space is there or not inside this key if the space is there or there it's going to work space is not there or it's going to work this is the way we are going to retrieve the data thanks guys thanks for watching